Stripper wasn't even in my vocabulary, girl. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Jen. How are you doing? What's going on? Ooh, can we just can we just like pause for a moment and can we just acknowledge how amazing you guys have been towards me? Because I I can't believe that I can't but like. I, I can't believe the number of subscribers. I, I'm like blown away. Like, but I just want to honestly, I just want to say thank you. I want to say I really appreciate you guys showing me unconditional love. Um, it's what I wanted. Otherwise, I wouldn't have been posting on YouTube. You know, I wouldn't have posted a video at all. Um, and it's crazy because I was going to give up on YouTube. I started YouTube in 2012 doing makeup videos, beauty tips and tricks or whatever, and it wasn't working out for me because I feel like I wasn't being real with you guys. But now that I'm being real, it's like we're all good. We're, it's all in the air. It's out in the open. You guys accepted me. You guys love me, and I love you guys too. And I just want to say thank you. In honor of my 2,000 subscribers, I want to do a giveaway. I'm going to do two giveaways. Um... I still have to organize it, so I will give you guys all of the details in my next video. Um, I just came up with that. Uh, I just came up with that idea, and I was just like, you know what? Like, I'm actually grateful for these people showing me love in such a short amount of time. I want to give back, so you know what? I'm gonna do a little giveaway. Nothing crazy, simple, you know. Just because we're starting off, you know. Stay tuned. My next video, I will be announcing um, how to enter for my giveaway. So, but moving on, because if not, this video would just be about me being thankful. <laughs> so today we're going to be doing a Q&A. I appreciate you guys for asking me questions and, you know, wanting to get to know me. So I posted a small clip on my channel telling you guys to ask me whatever you guys wanted to ask me because a lot of you guys say, um, was telling me how you guys wanted a Q&A or a get to know me. So I was like, you know what, that's actually a really good idea because like I said, I don't want my channel to just be about the club. You know, there's so much more to me than just the club, you know. So make sure you grab your Pepsi, grab your water, whatever you want to drink. I prefer Pepsi because we're about to answer some questions. So here we go. First question is, what's your ethnicity? I'm half Puerto Rican and half Dominican, but I was born in the United States. Um, I lived in Puerto Rico for a little bit and I lived in Dominican for a little bit. So I guess like I was partially raised on both sides of the family. So I'm like 50-50 evenly. I know about both cultures and I know how to cook Puerto Rican food. I know how to cook Dominican food. I know how to, you know, like sometimes I have a Puerto Rican accent, sometimes I have a Dominican accent. It varies, but yes, I'm Puerto Rican and Dominican. Next question, um, how long have I been a stripper? I've been a stripper for five years, not counting this year, like 2019, because 2019 I took a year off from dancing and I was doing other stuff on the side because I always like, I always like put myself out there to like look for other little jobs in general. Like I always did promos, I bartend, I did bottle service, I did cocktail waitress. Um, I worked for a catering company, um, I worked at Red Lobster, like I always like still put myself out there to make other kind of money. So next question. My questions are, do you have a boyfriend? If so, how does he feel about dancing? Like were you already a dancer when you met or after you were together? What's my zodiac sign and how long did it take me to do pull tricks? Girl, that was like one, two, three, four, five questions. It's like no. Um, yes, I do have a boyfriend. Um, we've been together for four years. So knock on wood, because we need things to stay amazing between us. Um, and we met while I was already dancing, and my words were if you want me you take me with my baggage you know I'm not gonna stop dancing for you I'm not gonna stop dancing for my mom and I'm not gonna stop dancing for anybody you know I'm doing it for me it's what I have to do you like me as a person so me and my job are two different people you know like me and you were personal my job is business it's work 
so that's like me telling him that I don't like him because he works for the union. You know, that's not okay. You can't judge a person off of what they do. At least they're trying and they're doing what they gotta do to get by. He'll drop me off at work sometimes. Heck, he picks me up sometimes too, you know? Like, he's the most supportive person ever. Like, honestly, like, that's my best friend and more. So, yeah, we're all good. We've been together four years and counting. And what's my zodiac sign? I am a Pisces. Pisces season is coming up soon, so beware. And one more question. How, did lo how long did it take me to be able to do pole tricks? To be able to do pole tricks, it did, honestly, like I'm a really quick learner. I pick it up. It took me an entire week. And I remember this like if it was yesterday. I saw this one girl doing all these amazing pull tricks and blah, blah, blah. And I felt like that was something that I needed to know and something that I was supposed to do. And I learned and it was honestly really easy and it kept me fit, it kept me in shape. And it was hard at first because you have to lift your own weight. And I got so many bruises, but it was fun. And I learned pull tricks within a week. And I learned like maybe three to four tricks. I don't know, like nothing crazy. All right, next question guys. What do you plan to do after dancing? I, after dancing, I plan to be my own CEO. I plan to be my own boss. And I plan to be, you know, everything that I'm not today and yesterday. Tips to girls just starting out. Okay, um, I would say if you're just starting out, I would just say make sure you, you know, you look your best, make sure you're fun, make sure you make the customer feel like they are important and they are fun. And just be yourself and be down to earth. And make sure you always bring good energy. Next question. <laughs> um, how old am I? I am 24. I will be 25 in March. Um, do I live alone or with a roommate? I live with my boyfriend. Um, any tips on moving out as a dancer? Make sure that you... If you're going to move in, make sure that you have bank statements to show. Make sure that you have a recommendation from the club saying that you're an independent contractor and that you make good enough of money. That's two proofs of income right there. And, and make sure that you have at least four months of rent ahead before you move in. Four to six, but I know that that sounds like a lot, but like four, usually it's like security deposit first and last, you know, that's already paid for it. Just make sure you have another month because you don't know how your nights are always gonna be at the club. So at least if you have like that one advance for rent, you're like, oh, okay, I have a little bit more time to make this money. Make sure you like, make sure you, you, you make a routine out of your deposits. That way when you show your bank statement, you deposit a certain amount every certain days and they'll be like, okay, so this is consistent, you know? Doesn't have to be a lot. Even if it's 200 every other day or 300 twice a week or like something like that, you know, like make sure it's consistent and when you're ready, but make sure you do it ahead of time. That way it could look like you've been doing it for a minute now. Another question, how did I become a dancer? I was broke, girl. I dropped out of college. I had no money. I couldn't pay for it. The reason why I dropped out of college was because I couldn't pay for college and I had no money, my phone bill was gonna get cut off. And I went into this club to get a waitressing job and I was so naive and innocent at the time and the manager convinced me to dance. He called the bouncer, he said, yo, come here, look at this girl, you don't think she's pretty? She'll make money, right? And the bouncer, they were all convincing me, hyping it up or whatever. And I was so scared and I was just like, and it was so annoying because it's not what I wanted, you know? I really wanted to just be a cocktail waitress. I didn't think I was, Stripper wasn't even in my vocabulary, girl. So I went in there to be a waitress and they convinced me to be a dancer. I was naive and he told me, this is how he got me. He said, you can try it and if you don't like it, you can go back to being a waitress. I tried it, I loved it. I wanted to go back to a waitress, but he said no. So I was like, fuck it, I'll stay. And I stayed. So that's how I became a dancer. Next question, where am I from? I am from Philly, hey, the city of love. Um, what state do I live in? I live in PA. Um, what is a hard journey? Wait, oh, sorry. Was it a hard journey becoming a dancer and does certain people look at you differently now? <sighs> becoming a dancer wasn't a hard journey. The hard journey was keeping up with it. You know, like 
Becoming a dancer was like one of the best things that has like happened to me while being one of the worst things that happened to me too. Like you know I want to say that I have my pros and cons. But um, do people look at me differently? Some do, some don't, you know. And to the people who look at me differently, all I want to say, all I have to say to that is I don't know what to tell you, you know, there's there's nothing I can do for you. If you don't like it, then I'm sorry, but if you like it, I love it. I mean, I've definitely lost a few friendships. I lost um, a friend that I was really, really close to because I don't think that her partner was okay with her being friends with me, I guess. I don't know. I don't know. I guess he thought that I was going to, like, lure her into that lifestyle. Like, um, you know, like, I remember her parents telling her, like, you better not start dancing too, like... And it's like, it's not like that, you know? I had my struggle, I had my struggles and I had to do what I had to do. But in reality, like, I met some amazing people in the club and I made some amazing friendships, like, with bartenders and the waitresses. So, I can say that some people did look at me different, but also, like, it was during that time because nowadays, I feel like it's so normal that people are not even looking at me differently. People, if anything, people are like, oh my god, you dance? My question is, what's the difference between a gentleman's club and a regular club? So basically, a gentleman's club is high class and a regular club is ratchet, basically. My dad also told me growing up to have something to show for, for all of your hard work. So my question is to you, do you have any saving tips? Me? I mean, um, I, I, I wanna say that I did come up with a few techniques to saving money because it's really hard to save money when you're dancing. It really is because you have the mentality like, oh, it's okay, I'll make it again, you know? Like, oh, it's okay, you know, let me spend this. Oh, it's not even that much, you know? Like, I'll make this tomorrow. But what you don't know is, A, you're not gonna be this young forever. B, you're not gonna be this pretty forever. C, you don't know how the night is gonna be. And D, you don't know if you're gonna get fired, sis. Like, you don't know what's gonna happen. You don't know if the club's gonna get raided. You don't know nothing. Me, I came up with a few saving tips. Like, when I first started dancing, my saving technique was letting somebody that I trust hold my money. Um, I had a really good friend of mine, I had a really good friend of mine um, hold my money at her house because where I was living at, my living situation, I couldn't hold money in that house. Um, she, you know, she was, she's somebody that I genuinely, you know, trust. We've been friends for over, damn, I lost count. We've been friends since 10th grade. And, yeah, that's a long time ago. So, you know, like, that was like my first saving technique. Give your money, you know, to somebody that you trust to hold for you. Another tip can be, you know, put it in a safe and have somebody hold a key that you trust. Or, you know, put it in a glass, a, a wine bottle. You know, the ones that have like the small mouth where you have to just like break the bottle if you want to get the money out, you know, you don't want to make a mess. So, there's a lot of different uh, like saving techniques, but I can say that my best technique was giving my money to somebody that I trust. Um, you can always just put money on the side and forget about it, but it's really hard to forget about money when you're a dancer, like I said. My question, okay, next question. How did you tell your family that you are a dancer? <sighs> I technically never told my family. Um, the reason why they found out was because, you know, where I'm from, Philly, and the club that I was dancing at, everybody knows each other. Um, somebody who knows my mom came in the club and told her that I was in there. My dad found out through my mom, obviously, because you know, your mom is gonna tell your dad or your dad is gonna tell your mom, or maybe she not, but my mom told my dad. So that's how my parents found out, but my dad's side of the family doesn't know anything, which is my Dominican side of the family. And I mean, they're gonna find out after this video. Um, they don't know for sure. They live in the Dominican Republic and they live in the middle of nowhere. So it's a little hard for them to find out, but maybe through other people they'll find out. And then my mom's side of the family, which is my Puerto Rican side, they've always been like very supportive about it. Um, maybe not at first because you know it's really hard to take that in like oh my god my little girl's dancing or oh my god my niece or you know what I'm saying but like maybe at first it's really hard to process that but later on they learn to love me either way and they learn to support me and 
if anything my mom is like my number one fan she was like my first comment on my first um youtube video and my aunt she was my second comment you know they they support me how the heck do you maintain your body girl i want to say is half genetically and half from dancing maybe my number one tip is always wear high-waisted everything high-waisted leggings high-waisted skirts high-waisted pants because your body will shape with the things that you wear so if you wear something low top you're bound to have a muffin top you know what i'm saying and i learned that from my grandma so your body shapes with what you wear well that's one of the things another thing i can say is i guess from like me dancing i'm in shape from like being active and then genetically like my mom has a really nice body like my mom my sisters my dad's out of the family, everybody has a nice body too, so I mean, I want to say it's 50-50, you know? Another question is, um, what do you know about getting work after dancing? How have you or other girls experienced difficulty trying to get another job? So like I said earlier, I always made sure that I, um... I always made sure that I had something to show for. I always made sure I had money to eat with. Like, even if I live with my, you know, significant other, it does not mean that everything is going to go on his back. You know what I'm saying? It does not mean that he is responsible for everything. And yes, ladies, it's 2020. A man got to take care of you, whatever. But no, he doesn't. Have you ever heard of that saying, make your own bag so you don't have to date the guy that you need? So you can date the guy that you want yes that's me i'm making my own money so i can be able to date the guy that i want not the guy that i need you know even though my boyfriend makes pretty good money on his own so yeah um i want to say that like it is hard for some girls if they never worked like a regular job like before dancing but if you have worked a regular job before dancing then maybe it's not that hard i know a lot of girls in the club who work in like hospitals i know girls who are teachers i know who girls who have attorney's office i know a lot of girls in the club who have a regular job so no i've seen other strippers have money counter machine i have a money counter machine have you ever thought about getting one um i i yeah i have thought about getting a money counter but the reason why i haven't gotten a money counter is because one, I enjoy counting the money, and two, I enjoy organizing my money. And I like to show that, like I said, I like to show the universe that I'm very grateful for my money. And I'm really big on like energies and vibrations. And I feel like the money feels my excitement and my gratefulness when I'm fixing my money. So that's me, that's my way of thinking. And maybe I will get a money counter in the future, but I don't need a money counter, I'm not that lazy. How do you keep yourself safe even though you're online saying you work? By not telling you guys where I work at, that's the only thing. I don't have to tell you where I work, what days do I work, what time do I work, you know what I'm saying? I, I'm not, I'll, I don't put, I'm not the type of girl who puts myself on Instagram as a stripper. I'm a regular ass person on Instagram. A lot of my, a lot of my like Instagram followers from nowadays don't even know that I dance. Like people are just starting to find out again. Back in the day, like maybe 2014, 15, everybody found out because I got exposed. But um, after that, I guess it died down. And well, I let it die down. But I don't put myself out there, you know. Yeah, I'm making stripper vlogs, but I'm not saying that I'm about like that crazy, you know, giving me life shit, like pop off. No, I'm not. But. I do have people who do look out for me, so yeah, I got people who are always looking out for me. Um, at the start, were you ever worried when you were dancing with other girls that your money would get stolen? They could count it purposely or incorrectly? Um, so yeah, actually I had this one time where this one girl, we were all getting dressed in the dressing room after work. It was a good night, everybody made money. I had my money bucket on top of the counter and I was getting dressed and this girl literally came over, put her hand in my money bucket and put it in her money bucket. So I turned around, I put my hand in her money bucket and I took my money back. And another thing, your money, you have to know like 
is specifically what you're getting back from every dance you got to know what percentage you're taking because if you don't pay attention to those things then you're definitely gonna get played and either way i'm like very like attentive like i pay attention to my money like i don't leave a money bucket laying around anymore like i make sure i straighten my money out right away put it away put my lock on you know what i'm saying like i always keep track of my money i keep track of every dance I have a receipt book that I bought at the dollar store and I keep track of every penny that comes in and out. So, not only here, baby. How do you manage your money if you have any plans later when you're older and can't strip like 65? Well, I mean, by the time I'm 65, I'm already gonna be a boss, bitch. You know? Not on wood. I'm definitely gonna have something to show for because there's no way that I'm putting myself out there to end up with nothing. There's no way. That's what I believe in my head. I'm not doing this for nothing. I'm not doing this for free. I definitely have some money saved, you know, because I always think about that. I always know that I'm not gonna dance forever. How old were you when you became a stripper? Honestly, I was 18. It was like two weeks after my birthday. Did you ever tell your family you wanted to be a stripper and were they supportive? No, I did not want to tell my family I wanted to be a stripper. Girl, I'm Puerto Rican and Dominican. They would literally kill me like it's not something that I wanted to do and it's so funny because one of my sisters always said that she was gonna be a stripper at night and a doctor during the day and everybody thought that she was gonna be the one to be the stripper but and then life lessons um, that I learned from work um, I would say the, the number one lesson that I learned was money comes and goes and you know you really can't sweat the small things in life because in reality there's just so much going on that we ignore we ignore the greater things in life because we're so focused on our problems so just go ahead do you live day by day you know and start accepting and don't close yourself off to opportunities you know because I feel like if I would have never danced I would have never been here. If I would have never took my chance posting my vlog, I wouldn't be here answering these questions. In reality, like, you really have to just live in the moment. Live your life today because tomorrow you might not be okay. And one more thing, don't, like, don't let the club change you who you are as a person because it is so easy to let that lifestyle change you. Everybody thinks that they're gonna go in there, everybody thinks that they're gonna have this plan and get out and it's not that easy. Once you're in there, some people get sucked in, some people stay in there forever, some people fall in love with the game, some people just lose themselves. So stay true to yourself and keep your head on your shoulders. And what have I learned from work so far? Wow. All right, so from work, I've learned a lot of things. I've learned that you're not there to make friends. Everybody's looking out for themselves. You're not there to make friends. You're there to make money. Another thing that I learned so far, as a dancer, you can't feel bad. And that's part of the game. That's part of the club. That's how it goes. But don't feel bad, sis. And that's it. So that concludes this video. That's the end of this video. That was my last question. Um, thank you guys for asking me questions. Thank you guys for, um, you know, tuning in. Thank you for showing me, you know, amazing amount of love and for subscribing and keeping me motivated because in reality like because in reality like I was just gonna post that one video to see how it was gonna go and if it didn't go good I was gonna give up now it's more fun that in then like I have more fun now editing than I used to then because I know that I have people waiting on that video because I know that I'm like mm, I can't wait to hear what they got to say so Thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate you guys. I really appreciate the love and I really appreciate the good energy. And make sure you tune in on my next video so you can find out about the giveaway because I don't want you to miss out. Tune in and if you haven't subscribed yet, make sure you subscribe and make sure you hit that like button. I'll see you guys.